Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is a special love and general situationship tarot reading session for you, Virgo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good, okay? This reading for today, it is for the Virgo sign. Let us see what's happening towards you. What is the message for you in the next 24 hours? What can I get for Virgo, please? This is for you, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thanks for, um, you know, your subscribe, your likes, and everything that you do in the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, guys, I invite you to also be part of our newsletter or mailing list. The direct link to join the mailing list, it's down the description box below. And also, we've got an IG account. If you were added, if you found my channel via IG, that is not us. So make sure that you're following the correct IG uh, official account of sunshine tv uh, we've been informed that there is a pretender so if you encounter this and if you want to help our channel uh, please do report or block okay so thank you for listening to that let us see what's happening towards you you're here virgo you're in the house okay let's look at your situation you look let's look at your situation um you've got a five of wands You've got the death card and you've got the hermit card. This is you. Um, I mean, five of wands, five of wands in the reverse. This speaks about um, the end of an issue. Uh, no more argument. Uh, no, no issue, no drama, no conflict or the end of a conflict. This is also like an end of a very confusing situation. If there was a competition, that competition is now ended. So there's a choice, okay? There was a choice. And the choice is about death card. So death card speaks about moving on. Death card is about, you know, closing a cycle and starting all over again. So I feel like you are in reflection mode because you've got the hermit card. Hermit card is, you know, going into the mountain, being alone, learning, thinking, feeling, but being alone. Or if you're not being alone, you're probably spending a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of time thinking and feeling and reflection and introspection. That is the hermit card. And I feel like you are looking into a closure or something to do with a cycle that has been completed. Okay. So yeah, I feel like your reading is about your, your focus, your energy reading. It, it is in a reflection mode. And I feel like it's more of you're looking into why it ended or maybe why things in the past didn't work out. You know, for some of you, you're trying to reopen or visit memories or you're trying to look into the past to see how can I improve it or where did actually it ended. You know, it's it's for you to convince that it's totally close. You have to start all over again. You you know, you need to have a new cycle. But it is a good vibe because I would say a lot of learning and feeling. Okay. And and it's coming from you. You know, this gesture, this energy, it's coming deep, deep inside of you to learn a closure, to learn an end of a competition or an ending of something like no argument it ended something of that and there's a reflection mode in here you're reflecting okay now in your current energy you've got a ten of wands it could be difficult you know i feel like because the hermit card is in here it's possible that you separated like there was a partnership and it got split you know because this is a person who's carrying all of the workload alone so you could be feeling a challenge or difficulty because you're alone or it it's it's difficult to proceed or there's a bit of survival mode because right now you you know you need help something tells me that there was some sort of ending or closure or maybe someone gave up it makes me feel like you're quite alone in a plan or maybe 
no one is kind of supporting you or maybe not you're not getting a lot of support because you're pushing all of the 10 ones on your own so it's a bit complicated to just doing everything on your own or maybe you're you're quite busy when it comes to work because all of the workload is going to you but there is a very there's a vibe in here virgo where it's it's difficult to just be on your own or something to do with someone left you and your task to do it, you know, or you're not getting the TLC or support from somebody from someone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if this person was here or if this support was here or there's an element of because there was a closure or an ending, you, you have to face what's left. And what's left is something quite challenging where, in fact, if you got someone around or if you got support, it wouldn't be as challenging as it is. So you're realizing probably that whatever this is that is gone or closed off or closure, um, you're picking up, you're picking up. Or you're moving on with a little bit of difficulty, I'd say. There's a difficulty in, on, on, on moving on or it's a difficulty from crossing, you know, from this phase to the next cycle. There's a bit of challenge in there. Now, the connecting energy between you and your person or that focus, um, you've got the, yeah, Knight of Swords in reverse. The Knight of Swords in reverse speaks about delay. Uh, the Knight of Swords speaks about... Um, being slow motion yeah king of swords in reverse so i mean for some of you it's not fair but you've got to accept that this is what's happening right now um for some of you it's very untimely you still look into the past like there's a part of you very good that you look back in the past and you know and you feel like i wish it didn't happen this time or something to do with i wasn't i was not ready but hey you know king of swords it has already happened. So both of you and your person is having the same feeling, thinking, and energy of the aftermath of this. Okay, so if you're feeling like if you're struggling, the other person is also struggling. If, if you're having this challenge, the external energy connected to you or the person connected to you, they are they're also struggling. So it's not just you who's experiencing this the external energy the person is also experiencing something um in fact you are quite advanced because you're really speeding up you know once this is passion and energy so even though you're kind of looking alone in here but you're speeding up the process of finishes finishing touches you know your person is sitting in a three of pentacles tower card they have not moved on but they have not really improve much okay so you in here you're moving fast but there's a part of you that you struggle to you know completely move on you're still looking to the past your person they haven't moved okay your person they're not over with you or they're not over with the situation but they haven't moved you at least tried to move magician card ten of wands your person they've never moved a single footstep they are still there where where you left them so there was no improvement from your person if i was to compare you versus them you're more in advance you're in i'd say in terms of moving on or the direction of a new cycle you're so close to a new cycle you're 10 your person is three so they're so behind they're so behind of where they're they're so behind of where they should be or they're so behind of whatever they will submit to you they're so behind of that in this reading you act more um, you provide more you act faster and stronger in this reading yeah queen of pentacles you could be dealing with someone who they don't have the the right mindset and availability whatever this person is connected to you they don't have the right mindset and they don't have the availability you know their mindset is scattered i mean yeah they've got the passion three of pentacles they want to do it but without the actual mindset to do it 
it could be doing it but the effort is going to waste because you're actually doing it but you don't know what you're doing you know what i mean queen of pentacles they're very i would say they have a drive but they're lazy or they have a drive but they're so um inconsistent that they tend to lose focus like it, they started and they stopped they started and they stopped so th there's a lot of i would say um not very collaborative like team player not a team player um they have a drive but they're inconsistent you know and i feel i mean if if i mean i i will understand you virgo if you're going to think twice before you connect or you do business or before you help this person or be connected in the situation because it's really like a waste of time you know it's it's the same it's the same and it's quite slow i mean if this was a you know company or a person who provide you service they're quite slow they are slow really slow and um the hidden energy judgment card they will surrender yeah you know, if this person promise you something, they will surrender and they will update you, the sun card. This person will surrender and update you. Hey, Virgo, I'm really sorry. I have to be honest with you that I cannot do it. Something tells me this person, they will surrender, calling you, texting you, and they will tell you possibly if this was a business that they cannot do it and they need help. They're not going to leave you. They're not going to leave the partnership. They will admit their fault, their issues, because they want you, Virgo, to help them. I think this person is trying to prove something to you, being independent, being wise, being mature, but they can't. So this person, you know, judgment card, they will surrender. They will admit their mistake. Uh, they'll come towards you, you know, face to face for some of you, the sun card. They will be very happy to really come out and say, I'm sorry, it's my fault. I'm sorry, please help me. I'm I'm sorry. You know, there's a lot of, yeah, I realize now that I cannot survive without you, Virgo. That I need you. And I'm coming here, you know, judgment card, the sun card, to tell you that it was a mistake. That, you know, if they, if they will not reach out to you or call you or text you or let you know of this failure, then they will feel stuck. So there's a person, there's a situation coming towards you with an admission. A very strong admission that they can't survive without you. That they need you. They need your help. And that they're willing for you to criticize them or critic them or say whatever you need to say. I'm a failure and I'm here to get your help. I wouldn't survive without you. There's some sort of admission. And in the hope, in the hope, Virgo, that you would forgive them. You know, that you would connect with them. You know, I feel like you've realized that this person is a drawing. You know, magician card. Sometimes magician could be fantasy or too good to be too good to be true card for me. This person, they will realize that you wouldn't just, you know, the person realize, you know, sun card. This is like a face off. They wouldn't, they, they know that they couldn't just say sorry to you or call you or text you. They need to make an extra effort to see you, to explain to you that, hey, I really F and yeah. It's more than just a text or a call. And I feel like it's just, you know, hermit card. It's 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 true enough that you wouldn't just let them in without really displaying this seriousness. This is really serious. You look at that face off. So the gesture or movement towards you, it has to be really serious, like to see you or a big effort to prove to you that I want to make business again. I want to make it right. I want to you know be with you I, I cannot survive without you text or call wouldn't be enough they have to do something big to convince you yeah i feel like this person will call you february 14 and 15 if this was romantic 13 14 15 for some of you on the 20th you're gonna get the money you're gonna get the, something to confirm that i failed and then can you take me back or someone's gonna take you back in a job so yeah 
anyhow um this is your reading virgo it's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys i hope you like the reading please don't forget to check out our setting intention candle it's free shipping worldwide it comes with a tracking number the profit goes to my charity and to my team so thank you in advance for those who have purchased thank you how to use the setting manifestation candle it's in the description box below or go towards directly to the website and that is me i'll see you soon guys you have a great day bye bye